Hello, it's Matt Linklater here, and uh, what I want to address with you is uh, uh, some of the skepticism or the objections we hear from business owners. And it's not so much an objection, it's more of misconceptions of what the accounting world is and what the accounting world should be. And so, one of the things we get is, does the CPA actually work for the IRS? Now, although I say that kind of jokingly, there is some truth to it. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have a great CPA. We have CPAs on our staff that uh, work with our business owners because you know we know that they have, uh, uh, they're gonna keep them compliant. And so let's review a little bit. I wanna talk a little bit about where the CPA industry has come from, where the accounting industry has come from, where it is today, and a little bit about that CPA working for the IRS. And so, a CPA, now they don't necessarily technically work directly for the IRS, but what they do is they take that CPA exam that is administered by the IRS. So the whole CPA license is to keep you compliant with the IRS. And even if you look at what a CPA had done historically, they do what's called a test work, they do write-ups, and they do financial statements. Well. Not too many uh, CPAs even do a test work in the in these smaller firms that are dealing with these business owners. They're really only doing uh, tax work. They're not even really doing accounting or any type of write-up work. So although you need a CPA, the misconception has been that a CPA could offer you tax advice. And by law, really, a CPA is to keep you compliant with the IRS through a test work and financial statements. Not really, uh, the license isn't really to offer you any kind of uh, financial or tax advice. Now there are great CPAs out there that can offer tax advice and accounting advice and financial advice, but they really got this knowledge by going beyond the CPA license. Now let's also look at where has the CPA license, the CPA firm and the accounting firm come from over the years. So when you look at 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, a CPA would do a write-up for you on a monthly basis. They'd look at your financials and do a write-up. This is well before technology. So they would look at your financial statements, do that write-up, and say, here, this is where you are financially. And they would do that on a monthly or quarterly basis. Well, with the advent of QuickBooks and QuickBooks Online, a lot of that fell off. So instead of uh, uh, a CPA doing this kind of write-up, all they really did was, by and large, when I look at the the hundreds of, of CPAs books of businesses that we have, we've uh, analyzed, what they typically have done is they do tax work. They don't even do bookkeeping or do a lot of this consulting work. They're doing a lot of this tax work. So what is that left? Well, it left the CPA and the business owner disconnected because the business owner says, well, wait, I can just do this technology stuff myself in QuickBooks or QuickBooks Online, but you're not getting any consulting uh, through that. And so what that led to is actually a shift into management consulting, financial consulting, and tax consulting. And that's what I tried to put together and have put together at LBS is really a consulting strategy to help business owners maximize their financials and decrease their taxes. So let's look at what we put together for you here. So what we want to do is we take a look at your business and identify the different thresholds. So what are the different thresholds? Do you have product thresholds that you should meet? Should, are there certain percentages that your product costs should align in your industry? Are there certain thresholds that employee costs should align in your industry? Are there certain thresholds that uh, should be the seller, uh, it's not seller, but the owner discretionary cash flow or EBITDA? It depends how you, how you want to categorize that. So when you look at all these things, there is a big uh, uh, gap that has been created by technology. So CPAs way back in the day used to do this write-up work on a monthly or quarterly, work, or quarterly uh, basis and do this financial write-up and have these discussions with business owners. It went to QuickBooks Online that could tabulate numbers and do categories, but doesn't tell you, you know, what thresholds you should have. And then we take these QuickBooks or these P&Ls and give them to our, our tax guy in January and say, here, help me pay the, the least amount in taxes, and it doesn't work that way. And so what that has really led to is kind of a skepticism in, in the industry that all CPAs are gonna be the same, and we like uh, uh, Joe Blow down the street because he's a good guy, uh, or Mary Joe because she's a good lady and we trust them, but they're not really offering a lot of value beyond that trust, which is hugely important but you need some other value beyond that. And so the true skepticism is, you know, how can we help you actually through a great financial plan? So one thing we do is we'll take over your book of business, 
we'll do your bookkeeping, we'll make sure everything's categorized in QuickBooks, but we'll make sure you're hitting those different thresholds, and then we can uh, put in different key performance indicators, some KPIs that will help you drive your profitability. So if, you, if you're a restaurant and you could decrease your food cost by just 10%, you know, that puts a ton more to your bottom line. I just did an analysis of a business uh, recently, and ultimately, by increasing the top line by 5%, uh, it was actually over a two year period. Increasing the top line by 10% and then de so 5% a year and decreasing the bottom line by just 3%, so 6% over those two years, um, led to almost literally a 25% increase in the bottom line. So if you have somebody taking a look at these metrics and saying, here, this is how we could decrease uh, some of your costs, and then let's look at how do we increase some of these revenue drivers, now you have uh, the CPA and the accounting firm you've been looking for. And so really the misconception is where has the CPA and accounting firm been? It used to do some of these things through financial write-ups and monthly and quarterly, got taken over by QuickBooks and software, and now the value was only here's my P&L, go ahead and do my taxes, and they're not offering the value that you're looking for. So when we can take over your QuickBooks and we can take over your bookkeeping, we can really add this type of value. And let me give you an example. So there's one lady, $2 million business, $250,000 in pre-tax profit, and just by taking over her QuickBooks and taking over her bookkeeping and instituting some of these uh, strategies that we've put together for you, we were able to, one, give her, give her a nice tax reduction and put money back into her business. We were able to take a look. We noticed that she was overpaying on her merchant account, lowered her merchant fees from $79,000 to $55,000, um, decreased her taxes by about $30,000. So literally, just right there, we put $60,000 back into her business through proper accounting and through just uh, the proper consultative advice that business owners have been looking for. And so really that's the misconception is that the CPA should be doing this and they're not because they're not offering any management consulting, they're not offering any revenue consulting, and they're not offering any profit and loss consulting if you will. And so really the true misconception and the true objection we get is the disbelief of that, hey, I've been giving my CPA, I've been asking for this, and the only thing they've been doing is doing my taxes. And unfortunately, of the hundreds of, of CPA firms that we've analyzed, anywhere from a uh, million dollars to five million dollars in revenue, uh, what they do is only tax work. They really only do their business owner's taxes, and for maybe a very small amount of their businesses, uh, they do some of the services we're talking about, but it's more of, Hey, do, you know, business owner said, "Hey, do you do this?" And uh, and they were able to figure out how to do it. Uh, so it's really about asking the right question to your CPA and seeing if they can even do it, and then pushing your CPA to get to that that um, that level. Uh, but here at LBS, we put all that together for you. Uh, so we we're a technology-driven firm, but we're going to look at those KPIs. Uh, unlike your current CPA, and offer you that proactive advice on a monthly and quarterly basis that'll drive your profits and drive your revenues.